evidence of disbursement has become more and more discreet, as airline companies now have strict non-disclosure agreements. WikiLeaks made it known, however, that airlines receive billions of dollars from the government. Another admission about the effect of airplane contrails was published in Smithsonian Magazine, where it was presented as though the decrease in solar radiation were purely coincidental. This is likely a part of the intention to educate and gradually ease into disclosing the current climate engineering strategies, as the United Nations, Keith, and others want to do, that help keep the climate cool. Sometimes you can see the effect of microwave energy as they assume unnatural and perfect lines and geometrical patterns. According to the many sources shared above, there's a network of radio frequency transmitters that are spread across many countries and are used to manipulate precipitation and dry air mass. The common narrative says that these NEXRAD transmitters merely read the weather, but radar sourced from weather modification facilities shows different, revealing how they actually transmit microwave energy. When these methods are employed, you can see proof of the technology in the perfect circular radius on these unmodified radar screens. So, these facilities direct high-powered microwave radiation frequencies, which blast the metal nanoparticulates, aluminum, and barium and others, as Keith discussed. This makes air mass become electromagnetically charged and causes an electrical chain reaction that dramatically heats the ionosphere up to 10,000 degrees, making winds rapidly spin, according to the hemisphere itself and then creating a circular high, or sometimes low, pressure dome. These fry the affected areas underneath with heat waves and deny an area precipitation. Edward Griffin explains the difference between contrails and SAI, what some people call chemtrails. Jet contrail that was pure condensation would not start and stop like this. Also, because they have metal nanoparticulates in them, as Keith and Schiff reveal. Jet trails are electromagnetically conducted. On the ground, networks of powerful microwave radio frequency from NEXRAD, which is Next Generation Radar Networks, can be transmitted to manipulate air mass. When this happens, it will make unnaturally precise geometric patterns of the clouds directing the metallic nanoparticles sprayed from SAI, the way a magnet directs iron shavings. Up until the 1940s, airplanes didn't leave lingering jet contrails behind them. But today, military jets used for SAI appear nearly invisible from below, though their jet trails are very visible. SAI technology was added, however, to commercial aircraft in recent years and is now more prevalent than ever in the sky. The disbursement patterns can be found here. The nozzles themselves look like this. Note the difference in the SAI tanks versus the water tanks, which look like unnamed beer cakes. If the trails were just condensation, it should also be known that 90% of the air that passes through an airplane turbine engine is not even combusted, which is what creates the heat that results in condensation. So, with regular jet fuel, condensation happens only in rare circumstances. Can you imagine if automobiles left this thick contrail haze? There would be no visibility on the road.